it's gonna happen. Just you watch. <laughs> like the morning sun inviting the dawn to break. Like the joy that Hi everybody, it's Friday. And we all know what that means. It was way in today. <laughs> All right, so I know that some of you guys saw my last video from yesterday and you saw how nervous I was. Well, I feel like that nervousness was probably brought on because I knew I really wasn't going to have a loss. I stayed exactly the same weight this week. I weighed in at 203.2 again. This morning when I stepped on the scale, I was a little upset when I saw that number. Mainly because since Wednesday, I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to have a good weigh-in. I know that we all do that to ourselves. Like, two or three days before weigh-in, we start extremely watching what we're eating. I have to say, even though I didn't lose anything, I feel like this week taught me a lot about myself and about where I want to be in the future. Now, I definitely think that I can understand why I didn't lose any weight. Although I was working out quite a bit, I was moving my body so much more than I normally do. And on top of that, I was eating a lot less than I normally would. But I think that I'm still eating more than I should in order to have losses. I'm kind of snacking a little bit too much. Um, and maybe I'm not eating enough during the day so that when I get home, I get really, really hungry and I end up having a huge plate of salad. You know, I feel like for some reason the whole, the huge salad thing doesn't seem to register in my head as bad. And although it's a huge amount of salad, I'm thinking, oh, this is healthy. Oh. I wanted to kind of mention that I think unconsciously, I may have decided to do my weigh-ins on a day when I know that I have therapy after. I didn't even put that connection together until this morning when I stepped on the scale and I freaked out for a minute and then I realized, oh my god, I have therapy. I can totally talk to my therapist about this. I could really process the information and process my non-loss. So I had a couple weekly goals that I shared with you guys in the very beginning. My first weekly goal was to get some kind of physical activity or go to the gym at least four days a week. As you can see, the little rainbow star equals when I work out. So back here on Saturday, I went to the gym. On Sunday, I didn't go to the gym, but remember I took that really long walk, like almost six miles. Um, Monday, went to the gym. I didn't count Tuesday. I did get a lot of physical activity in the morning, but I'm not going to count it because it just, it didn't feel like I was working out. I wasn't physically in the mindset of working out. I was wearing my normal clothes, jeans, a sweater, or whatever. On these other days, I literally wore workout clothes all day long and I was in the mindset of getting workouts. And on Wednesday, I went to the gym. Thursday I went to the gym and today's Friday, so I ended up working out. I worked out five times this week. I beat my goal. I'm so proud of myself. I have to say that up until this point, I've been at the gym maybe once or twice every other week. So my level of physical activity was basically non-existent. Every once in a while I'd I would have this fat attack and I would feel like I was the most humongous thing in the world and that I needed to go to the gym. So I would basically drop everything I was doing and I would just hurry over to the gym and work out. I wasn't doing it consistently at all. But this week, I really feel like I've implemented a consistent workout plan. I really feel much better. I have more energy and just from one week of doing it, I feel like I'm sleeping better at night, which is wonderful. I love sleep. My second weekly goal was to weigh in only once, Friday morning, and I have to confess, I didn't do that successfully. I was kind of aware of where I was on Monday. I think maybe that's why I was a little bit concerned about um, my weigh-in today. 
So I failed, unfortunately, that goal. I weighed in earlier in the week. It was really hard to not step on the scale. And something that I talked about in therapy today with my therapist, why does the scale have such power over us in this journey? I know that the physical number helps us gauge and measure where we are in our weight loss. But why does it matter so much what number we are? Why does it matter so much the clothing that we fit into? And so we got on this really deep conversation of power and weight loss and weigh-ins and scales and you know it was it was really interesting and enlightening. I was even kind of toying around with the idea of not weighing in anymore because I have to say that the stress of knowing I was going to weigh in made me want to binge. It was like a trigger in my head. I was thinking about all of the food that I really wanted. I was getting really hungry. Although I was completely satisfied with that monstrous salad I ate, I was already dreaming about my next meal. And I haven't done that in such a long time. There was a point in my life not too much long ago that I'd wake up in the morning and plan my day entirely around food. And I would be obsessed with the idea of eating all day long. And for the past month or so, I have not been in that mindset. I've eaten when I've been hungry. I've not eaten when I've not been hungry. And there are times, yes, that I've fallen off that mindset a little bit because I'm still working into recovery. So yeah, I weighed in today. And as you can see over here on my official weigh-in, page side. On September 1st, I weighed 210. And then on October 6th, I weighed in at 203.2, which is a 6.8 loss. And then today, October 12th, I maintained. Like I said, I was a little upset about that. But I really feel like the scale should not determine my level of happiness and how beautiful I think that I am. Because the scale is just a representation. It's a number. It's some vague number that probably some man thought up. What I want is for my body to match up or to become in sync with the idea that I have of myself. But I'm not really sure that people understand that I'm not really doing this for weight loss. It is. But I'm not trying to get to some crazy low weight. I just want my ideal self to be portrayed to the world. I'm not going to be upset at myself if one week I don't lose anything. Because all the things that I did this week are a step in the right direction. And I feel really proud of myself. I think what I'm going to do to take it a step further and to make this next way in successful is I'm going to start listing everything I eat on the website CalorieCount.com. Now I was kind of toying around with the idea of starting calorie counting again. I'm not really sure if I'm ready to restrict my calories quite yet. But I want to see how many I'm eating in a day. I want to truthfully know how many calories I'm consuming and how many calories I'm burning off and if there is no weight loss again next week then I feel like I have an idea what may, might be going on. Back in August, I got off the pill because I'd been on the birth control pill for about seven years. It's a long time to be on this hormone. And so I went to the doctor and I told them I really wanted to get off the pill because I felt like it was putting weight on me. And we researched different methods of different birth control because I don't want to get pregnant right now. I opted to get Mirena which is an IUD. So I'm going to be monitoring this kind of closely. So if I am eating the right number of calories, if I'm exercising extremely well, and I'm pretty much on target with things, and I'm not lying to you guys or myself about things, and I'm still not losing weight, then I feel like it's probably the IUD. I mean, I did a little research on the Mirena before I got it, and it was pretty much split down the middle 50-50. There were some women who couldn't handle it at all. The cramps were so intense. They gained so much weight. And the other extreme was people loved it. They didn't feel cramping. They didn't feel any pain. They didn't have to take the pill every day. They felt amazing. So 
I don't know if it was just me this week. I have a feeling it was just that I was eating too much. I definitely feel like, although I didn't have a loss this week, and as you guys can probably tell, I'm not really phased by it. I'm not really upset by it. Mainly because I know I did some good things this week. And regardless of what the fucking scale says, I'm gonna believe in myself and I'm gonna think that I'm worthy. I know that we all put so much weight on the scale. <laughs> We put so much weight on what the scale says within this journey. And the thing I have to consider, like I said yesterday, is what's the rush? You know, I did mention that I did want to be a little thinner by Christmas time. But I think the only reason I'm feeling like that is because I want to impress people with being thin. And I should not want to impress anybody but myself. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, no loss this week, but as you can tell, I'm feeling great. I wanted to share with you one last little thing before I go. I got a couple new books in the mail today. The first one is called Appetite for Life. Appetite for Life shares the true stories of healing and hope from seven survivors of eating disorders and chronicles their journey toward health and inner peace. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I think it's going to be a really interesting one. Um, and then the second one I bought is called Letting Go of Compulsive Eating. It's a daily meditation book. So each day you go through and you read the daily meditation for that day. And I decided, since I bought this book and it's going to be so helpful, that I would share it with you guys. And I was going to read the meditation for the day. So for October 12th, they say, The more I am willing to live life as it is given to me, with its wonders, dullness, learning, excitement, and satisfaction from working well with others, the more I wake up. I look at the raw materials of life and use them. May I set realistic, self-defined, attainable goals. My successes don't come as immediately or as quickly as I want. I value them because they come from the raw materials of life. I worked for them. For today, there are satisfactions from achieved competencies, valuing myself and others. Well, isn't that crazy? <laughs> I mean, that pretty much relates exactly to what I was saying. I need to realize that these goals that I set for myself are attainable, but they're going to take time. My successes don't come as immediately or as quickly as I want. I wish I could be thin right now. <sniffs> Snap my fingers and I'm there. Obviously, it's not going to happen like that. This is a process, and we all know that. So I just want to let you know that for the next forever, I'm going to be reading one of these daily meditations to you guys so you can maybe have it and ponder it and maybe gain some knowledge from it. All right, well, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another accountability video, and I will also update you with the daily meditation. So this week I'm going to be calorie counting just to see how many calories I'm eating. I'm going to weigh in only once. I'm going to journal everything and I'm going to be drinking tons and tons of water and I'm going to be working out at least four times this week. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and thank you for cheering me on. I really appreciate all the support. Talk to you soon. Bye. Unstoppable